and trying to earn their respect day in and day out. Uh, this business is, is a what have you done for me lately business, so you can't take a day off or, uh, you know, you start falling behind. So I think I just come out here every day and try to do whatever I can to help. Systematically, how different is this defense from the defense? I think there's some similarities and there's some differences as well. It's just getting to know those, getting your instincts trained on those, uh, some of the new things that we do here, and uh, having a lot of fun with it. Thank you. Well, I think it's just a group of guys we're with, the coaching staff that we have, just a fast physical group who likes to be out there and play ball, and uh, something that I can appreciate. Have you, uh, have you felt good physically? I mean, it's just another training camp. I mean, obviously you're going to have long cruises, but it's, it's been a pretty typical training camp for you. Yeah, I feel great. Have you um, get a little bit of scare out there briefly? They, they asked. They asked. They asked. Lane not not to use his main move during this game. Yeah. Just wondering, as a guy who's been around a little bit, if you've ever heard a coaching move like that. You think that's pretty clever to help a young guy get on to his next well, I think, uh, yeah, you don't want to get stuck in one situation. You play certain players who, who maybe that move doesn't work on. I'm not going to speak for Harold, but, uh, you know, he's had a great camp so far. He's a great player, and uh, whatever he's doing seems to be working. Have you ever done something like that yourself, just like a board, <clears throat> something you know you can rely on while you're working on Yeah, I think you, you try to go out there and practice new techniques every day and see how they work for you, see if you can implement them into your game, and uh, just trying to constantly get better. Well, I mean, it definitely didn't hurt. I, I know Shane, I know uh, Mike, I respect them both tremendously, uh, have played under him before. So I think that was definitely a, a good selling point for me to come here. Well, you, you never can be too comfortable because that's when you start falling behind. So like I told them, I'm just coming out here day in and day out, trying to earn the respect of the guys, the coaching staff, the organization, and uh, just proving that I belong. How do you feel? I mean, you have been playing with for a while. I mean, what do you do each year to kind of get yourself ready for the season? How do you feel? Uh, just keep working. I mean, that's all you can do. It's a, I told them again, it's a what have you done for me lately business. So uh, once you start not having good days or put stacking good days together, you start falling behind everybody else. So just coming out here, working as hard as you can day in and day out, and things seem to take care of themselves. Do you like the group around you from Bud to Harold to Rashad to I mean, what's the feeling around Yeah, we got a great group of guys, different personalities. Everyone seems to get along real well, uh, communicate well with one another, and that's only progressed as camp has gone on. I think we're building. I think uh, we got a good group of guys. Like I said, I think we've put together some good days here, but uh, we haven't done it in a, in a real situation yet. So we just got to keep stacking those days, and hopefully it'll translate uh, to week one. I know there's a lot of excitement with no touchdowns in the quarters. The veteran, is this where you tell the guys that they haven't proven anything yet? Or yeah, we just got to keep going going out there. I mean, we give up touchdowns in practice. That's, that's not acceptable either. So. Uh, just keep grinding day in and day out and, and keep putting in the work and things, like I said, will take care of themselves.